Hello everyone, I hope that you're all well. Uh, my name is Hannah, if you're new, and I am the owner of The Corner of Craft. Today is the hottest day in the world. It is the temperature of the sun, and uh, we're off to Sheffield, because we're going to set up for the Wall Monty. Now, I'm in Nottingham, so it's not that far away, so we're not going to stay, um, but it is set up day. The car is loaded, it's ready to go, and uh, yeah, and it's just unpacking it and all of that fun stuff. Just to clarify, I am vending there, um, in case that wasn't clear. And it's going to be on tomorrow and on Sunday as well. My sister's coming along to help me out on both those days. So it should be a lot of fun, but now I need to go because I need to set up. I need to remember to take my exhibitor passes, otherwise we're not getting in anywhere. And I'm just going to look like a hot mess today because it's too warm for makeup and it's too warm for me to be asked in general. That's all. setting up. We've got DK over here, that's my little bargain box with samples that I need to hang out. Then we've got the shawl kits here that I need to print a little price for the shawl pattern. We've got a few sock sets, we've got sparkle, we've got fluff. These are actually shoe racks where the legs bend out, you can stack them up so they fall flat. It's really cool. They're only 350 And then we've got a bunch of junk that I need to sort out tomorrow. Stitch marker thing one, stitch marker thing too and then we've got sturdy sock and merino sock I tried to arrange them a bit like a rainbow thought it could be more visually appealing I don't know how good I am at it but um yeah okay we just moved it round because if those doors are going to be open the yarn looks really dark so we've swapped sides so we've got that there and then we've got this here and whilst the stitch markers aren't as on display, people need to lean in to look at those anyway. So hopefully it should work and everything will be fine. Okay, now we can go home. Good morning everyone, it is now Saturday, Saturday. Uh, yesterday evening was pretty chill, I just spent time editing videos basically. Very exciting, but I have my Crit and Knit t-shirt on. And uh, yeah, it's day one of the Wool Monty. It's very overcast today. So while I'm optimistically in shorts, slightly worried I'll be cold, but you know, risk it, why not? Um, but yeah, just running around getting the last few bits ready and uh, yeah, my sister should be swinging by to pick me up imminently. It's show time. Well, five minutes, five minutes to go. And uh, we've got cups of tea. And then we've got the shawl sample out. We've got our branded mug. This mug never cools down. Charlotte has this mug and it just never cools down.
morning folks. It's now eight o'clock. I am at home as you can see. I uh, went out for lunch with, no, dinner, time of day. I'm a little brain tired but I feel much better than I did. But I went out for dinner with my sister and Selena of Through the Wardrobe Yanko and hung out with um, them for a bit. And it was my first time meeting Selena in person. We chat a lot online but she was born and raised in the UK and now lives in Norway with her family. And uh, yeah, she came over for the yarn show and it was amazing to finally meet in person after chatting online for so long. And she's exactly like she is on the internet, which is so reassuring and um, amazing and great. So it was so lovely hanging out with her for the evening and I hope she comes along tomorrow as well. But that was day one of the Wool Monty over. Um, it was a pretty good show. It felt a little quiet at times. I know some people did very well with takings and some people less so. I guess it's just the nature of the show and who wants to buy what from whom. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, it was on par to, it was on par to what I, uh, what I made in the 2019 show, which is pretty good. Like I'm, I'm happy with that. East Anglia Yarn Festival spoiled me a little bit um, with that being my first show back, but I cannot complain at all. So um, yeah, it was so lovely meeting the various people that came and we chatted D&D &D with people. I had my Crit and Knit t-shirt on. Crit and Knit t-shirt. And my fluff nugget through some of the day, not all the day. It was a bit warm. I mean, I had my shorts on through most of the day. Um, the only downside is I didn't take any yarn home to cake up. And then there was nowhere there. There was no caking station, which actually surprised me because every single yarn show I've been to has had a caking station. So, um, slightly disappointing. But I took a skein of... Uh, true sight on merino sock and I'm going to cast that on and get that ready to go so I have some knitting tomorrow because I think it's going to be much quieter tomorrow because it is father's day also it's a Sunday of a show so it's like two things against us I guess but some people might prefer to come on a Sunday because it's quieter so they're able to have a bit of a better look around and such. But um, yeah, it was really lovely. I do enjoy doing yarn shows once I'm there and doing them. I had a bit of a lull in energy about three o'clock. Um, but yeah, I feel much better already, which is nice and reassuring. Um, clearly just needed some dinner and some time looking at something else. I haven't done any yarn purchasing today. I think yarn purchasing and proper mooching is going to happen tomorrow. I didn't have much time to have a look around um, and I got chatting to a lot of people. So I might, we might try and get there a little bit earlier tomorrow um, and then have a look around and yeah, see if there's anything that I want to get, see if there's any self striping that I'm interested in or um, yarn in general. But I do have quite a lot of stash. So if I don't get anything, that is also fine because I really need to knit from stash. I'm knitting my own stuff quite a lot at the moment, which is lovely and um, good to do as a business owner. But I have a lot of stash that I also need to cast on a knit. So after this yarn show's over, I might cast or once that shawl's finished. I didn't finish it in time for the show, of course I didn't. But I might cast it on, cast on a jumper or something. Treat myself one of the many sock sets, I've got something on my face, one of the many sock sets that I, or no, one of the many sweater quantities that I have, um, do that, but I've just made myself a cup of peppermint tea to round off the evening, and I'm just going to sit, I'm going to chill out, and I'm not going to talk to anyone, because Mary is already in bed, um, and just relax, cast on my sock, watch some trash TV maybe, we'll see. Good morning everyone, I hope you are all well. Today is Sunday, it is the 19th of June, Father's Day, and uh, yeah, it is day two of the Wool Monty. So um, I've just sorted out the cash box because I forgot to do it last night. Uh, so I've just sorted that out and then I just need to go and rinse out the, like our reusable cups that we use. And then I'm ready to go. Uh, my sister's swinging by, I'm going to try and drive us there today. Bit nervous, I won't lie, I've not driven on a motorway much before, um, but she's quite a calming presence, so I should be okay, hopefully. But yeah, <sighs> because we need to take my car, or our car today, because um, all of the stuff isn't gonna fit in her boot because we need to pack up and bring it all back today, so. <clears throat> it's very bright and sunny today, so apologies. Let me just adjust something. That's a bit better, less blown out. I've got a few minutes, because um, I don't know where my sister is, but I put my lanyard on ready. I've got a corner of craft t-shirt on, I had a crit and knit one on yesterday. 
because uh, the other t-shirts I have are quite light colours and um, I'd already put my brow on and couldn't be bothered to change it. <laughs> so <laughs> we're sticking with a grey t-shirt. Um, but I would thought I would show you, I cast on a pair of socks yesterday. I didn't knit much, I was very tired. Um, but I did a little bit. And this is out of the True Sight colourway, which was a Knit Carol Yarn Club um, exclusive because it was called Bow with True Sight, which is when Caduceus cast True Sight on Bow at a party and she had she was having a great time. So um, I dyed a skein of yarn called True Sight. And it's very slightly different to the original one because I've got I, the shade of blue I used um, has been out of stock in forever. So thanks for that. But yeah. Um, I adapted it because I still love the colour and it's just so pretty and you can't really see but there's little pops of pink in it maybe on this side you'll be able to see it a bit more and yeah I'm excited to get onto the leg of it because uh, I think today's going to be quieter because it's Father's Day because the weather's nice because um, the weather wasn't great yesterday but I think it's going to be quieter today and also Sunday of a show and Saturdays are always busier so um, I think it's going to be quieter today, so I thought I'd better cake up some yarn and cast it on. So that way I can keep my hands busy whilst I stand at my stand. stand, stand, at my stand. Oh, I better find out my sunglasses because it is quite sunny. And I'm, um, yes, if I'm driving on a motorway, don't particularly want to uh, not have sunglasses on. I guess I should stop knitting. I'm very nervous about driving this morning, can you tell? I think you can tell. Hello, we are here, we've arrived. I drove the whole way. That was very impressive. Thank you, thank you very much. I mean, I'm still shaking slightly, so I'll probably go it's get fine. a tea in a bit, thanks. Um, but drove on the motorway, so I feel very proud. But um, I'm just gonna have a peruse around, film for a few more of the stands, because I didn't get to film too many yesterday, because when I was perusing, I was chatting to people. So yeah, um, it's only 20 past nine, so we've still got 40 minutes, so perfect yeah. time. Top up anything that needs topping up, it's not too much because we did it yesterday. We need to top a few stitch markers and then yeah. Woo. Day two, day two. Day two.
have a medium amount of yarn left. I've done quite a lot of restocking, but I've still got some left, which is good news for you because it means stuff will be going online. I've also got some stitch markers left, but they will not be going online because I have another yarn show in September coming up. So um, I might put some, but not all. But then, yeah, I've got all of these. I've got some DK and some sturdy sock and some merino sock, uh, which will be going online if you're interested. Date, TBC. I might have decided by the time this has gone up, but I have not decided as yet. But um, yeah, yes. It's been a good show. It's been a good show so far. So can't complain. Ready to pack down, ready to go home. <laughs> So it's now a few days post show and my hair is looking a bit like Monica from Friends when uh, they go somewhere. I want to say to the Caribbean, but I could be wrong and the humidity just makes her massive hair. I washed my hair this morning and I didn't blow dry it so it's just kind of gone poof. Um, such is life. But yes, I thought that I would give a bit of a breakdown about how the festival went overall. So from the off, I felt I feel like the Wall Monty is a very well organised uh, yarn show, which is lovely. It's very accessible, which is something that is very important to the organisers in particular. Um, and the reason that they choose the venue, which is the uh, at the moment is called the Utila Arena in Sheffield, but it is just the arena in Sheffield. It's where they host their ice skating, ice hockey games, um, as well as many gigs and such. But the reason they host it there is because it's such a large open space, which means there's, it's at its flat, which means it's perfect for people who have mobility aids or people that don't like to feel crowded and claustrophobic. Blah, claustrophobic. And basically, if you've been to Yarndale and hated that, you will like the Wall Monty because it's the opposite of Yarndale. If you are considering applying, I would highly recommend it. I will say that it wasn't the uh, it wasn't the show that I've taken the most at, but it was on par with what I've taken that from what I took in 2019. So I can't complain. It was definitely worth my while um, and made better because I didn't have to pay for accommodation, which is always nice and always saves a few pennies. But. Um, Yes, the fact you could drive your car right up to where you set up made it so much easier than lugging goodness knows what, however far you need to, to get to your stand, because sometimes that is the worst bit of setting up. But this was painless, very quick, very easy. You could just slowly drive your car in, unload it and drive off. Um, I did hear that later in the day, as more people turned up, it did uh, get a bit, I don't know, confusing, I don't know. I didn't hear, but I didn't hear anything negative about um, what went down, how it was set up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we went earlier in the day, so it was easier. And also we're fortunate in that we could have done that. The organizers of the Wall Monty listened to the feedback from 2019 and made some amendments. Uh, the refreshments and such were not really up to par in 2019. So that has been changed for this year. And hopefully going forwards, I love when show organizers take feedback on board and make changes for the next one. Um, there were salads, there were bacon or breakfast sandwiches, bacon sausage egg, vegan sausage I believe, uh, sandwiches for in the morning, teas, coffees, you could have booked for afternoon tea and jack potatoes and things like that. So it was a great selection of food that you could have there. I did hear from some of the uh, attendees that the security guards of the arena were a bit awkward about letting people leave and then come back in again. I'm guessing because it's a security risk the whole day on both of the days um, and actually on Friday as well. They had uh, like sniffer dogs going through all the seats and stuff just to make sure that everyone's safe and, and whatnot. So it was possibly a security issue. Um, but yeah, they were just doing, they were just doing their job, so. When it comes to purchases, I didn't buy much. I bought many a cup of tea. Not as many as at East Anglia Yarn Festival, but I also think that's because I had four for breakfast. 
because I had a teapot and the teapot filled my cup four times. Uh, and on Saturday morning, I just didn't have any tea this past weekend. So didn't have as many cups of tea, but I did buy something. The lovely vendors at Wingham Wools, Wingham Fibres, I'll pop it on the screen, um, were just across from me and had their adorable baby there all weekend. It was very cute. He was very well behaved. He was a bit grizzly on the second day, but apparently he'd caught a cold, so yeah. Um, but when Selena came and chatted to me through the wardrobe yarn co, I love her so much, she recommended these dyes. Um, it's landscape dyes and they're based in Australia and Wingham Wools is a supplier of theirs. So I only bought three colours because I thought I'll see how I get on. They only had 100 gram pots. Had they had 50 gram pots I might have gone ham but they only have um, 100 grams. Apparently they already have citric acid in which just makes it a bit easier. And so I've got cyclamen, salt marsh and plum. I had a look at the samples and they were colours that I liked the look of that were very different from what I already have because I have quite the selection of dyes already. But the cyclamen looks like a really fun purple. So I'm gonna have fun with those. So it was a business expense as opposed to a personal, uh, personal purchase. But yeah, I didn't um, buy any yarn purely because I haven't knit out of stash in such a long time. There were plenty of skeins I could have bought and plenty that I wanted to buy, but I didn't purely because, um, yeah, I, I was trying to be a bit more responsible with my stash. And I either need to de-stash or I need to uh, actually knit with it so, or crochet with it. So yeah, personal purchases have been paused temporarily whilst I uh, sort my stash out, sort my life out, and yeah. As you saw from the vlog, I do have quite a lot of uh, stock left over. Now, I am doing Yarndale exclusive. I've heavily hinted at it, <laughs> but I'm just announcing it. I figured I can. But I am doing Yarndale, which means that uh, stitch markers will be kept for then. I'll go through and clear some out that either didn't sell or whatnot um, and pop them up in the shop and maybe make some autumnal slash Halloween ones, potentially. I have a pattern to make blackberries, so maybe I'll make some blackberries. Who knows? Um, or raspberries, because I bought the beads for them last year and then never got around to making them. Thought it could be fun. So I, uh, yeah, we'll keep some stock back for that, but all the yarn and such I will pop online and that will be going up today, on Friday. So, check the shop, it might already be live. I haven't finalized the time yet because I need to photograph all the yarn and sort stock out and blah, blah, uh, all the fun stuff. If you liked the look of anything you saw in the vlog, please feel free to check the shop. There might be some there. Then I can package that up next week and post it to you. Very exciting. But that is where I am going to leave this video today. I want to say thank you so, so much for watching and spending this time with me. I hope that you enjoyed uh, the wool Monty vicariously through me and sorry that I don't have a huge yarn haul to share with you I feel quite disappointed in myself but yeah I need to I need to be a bit bit more responsible with my purchases now yarn shows are back up it's very easy to buy loads at every single yarn show you vend at but financially that's not that great <laughs> so Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to stick around, please feel free to subscribe. I post a video here every week. And if you want to see more, I also have a Patreon. Uh, and for five pounds a month, you can get an extra video a week if that's something that you fancy. Next week is podcast time. So I'll be sure to chat to you about the things that I've been knitting. Very exciting. And crocheting actually. Better finish that shawl. If you'd like to follow me on social media, links can all be found in the description box below along with any other information that I think you might need and um, things like that. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you have been up to. Did you enjoy this vlog? Is there anything that you saw that you would have purchased? Blah, 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 blah. There was so much beautiful fiber there. It made me wish I did spinning, but I don't need a new hobby right now. So spinning is on pause. But thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.